All right. Okay. So be ready. Posture. Can you bend your knees just a little bit? That's a stress lockout. Makes you pass out if you stand that way long enough. Mm -hmm. So we don't want that. Good. Now our posture is set. Eyes on the center of the target. Beautiful. Give me the visual inputs of draw and fire one. Give me the feel of that. Deep cleansing breath. Let your mind settle. Up. Back to the holster when you replay. Nothing to say. That's beautiful. Do that again. Ready? Up. Something to say. <laughs> because he added tension. Mm -hmm. Good enough wasn't good enough. Now he wants to add a little bit to it. Yeah. So, were you able to still draw even though you fumbled? Mm -hmm. That's what you accept. Stay in the line. You don't get to walk away. Mm -hmm. All right? He gets to accept that it's going to cost him a quarter second if he fumbles. Was it vision, feel, or breath that caused you to fumble? Um, not sure. It's feel. So right now, feel your right hand. Is it in a claw shape or a gripping shape? Right. Now be ready. Posture, vision, visual input, kinesthetic, clear the mind, deep breath. I see it? All right. You know it's wrong. It's not he doesn't know how to draw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a pirate when he gets tense. He makes a crooked hand and then claws at the gun. And listen, he's got the greatest gun ever made in the history of man as far as gripping. Well, I don't know. Some people feel that way. <laughs> but if you make your hand into the shape of the gun before it gets there, it can't fit. Hmm. So we have to see the hand relax. Now, some of you do the opposite. I call it the jazz hand effect. <laughs> That's just as bad because then you have to do what? Slap, feel, and you don't have enough space. There's no way your holster's high enough for those fingers to come in so you claw at your belt. But it was a feeling process. All I had to do was get him to realize that if he relaxed his hand, he could feel the gun. And then I also want him to accept that it cost him a quarter second, but it's not the end of the world. <laughs> it's just a quarter of a second. He's got to complete the draw because we're not in speed and efficiency. We're not taking a mulligan. We're in performance, so we're going to finish this as we do it. That makes sense to everybody? <laughs> Okay. Now, how did I recognize? I stood on the other side where I can't see his hand. How did I know? It's a good question, isn't it? When right. it came up to the holster. Well, his everybody shoulder. do this. Tighten your hand. His shoulder. How far does that go? It goes all the way to your neck, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So what do I see? Mm -hmm. That's what yeah. I saw. Ah. Yep. So I can just stand here and see it. And that's okay. how I see these things and other people don't. Yep, that's it's what I saw. just because tension bleeds all the way up. Yep. And then you, some of you will even tighten your jaw when you do this. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, do the jazz hand. Feel the difference? Yeah. It's a way. So uh, our camera person here, Miss Shelley, when she was trying to find her draw and she was uncomfortable about it, what she'd do is make a bigger motion. Mm -hmm. She's oh. so fast, she thought a bigger motion would be better. Mm -hmm. It wasn't necessarily harder, so she'd get her hand ready. And then when she'd get there, she was like, it doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. Well, her hand doesn't feel right either because it can't feel a thing. So everybody squeeze as hard as you can. What do you feel? Nothing. Now relax. That's a grip. So when I grip a human being, what I do is I relax my hand and I squeeze. And then when you move your hand, I move with it. I'm not holding you still. I'm holding my position relative to you. That's what a draw is. Make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. Starting to feel better with this? Yeah. All right. So now we switch relays.